off and off, off and on spending time together. No commitment. He wanted to be free after a breakup and made your heart break. He comes back two months later and says he was sorry. I deserve more. He tries and then fades. He says he sees a future then fades. He is not consistent. My question is, how can I let him know it's okay to let go and feel for me and not be so scared? Uh, I don't want to give up on him. It is really that he just doesn't feel me that much. Um, then why does he keep coming back and talking in future tenses? I'm 100% in love, and this is the only thing in my life that gives me a great grief. I'm sad we cannot be a serious couple. Okay, so Danielle, so I don't know this person. Um, um, but let's make a guess with him. So at least from what you're telling me, all of us have something, all of us have some injuries, but this is an injury he's got. Um, an issue, whatever you want to call it. And relationships tend to expose issues, mainly because the relationships involve emotions. Emotions are wonderful, but they magnify everything inside. Your fears, your hopes, your dreams, everything. That's what emotions do. And as a woman, that's especially what you do, is you stir up a man's emotions. Not that you should, that's what you do. That's just what you do as a woman. You can just walk in a room and you do that. And when he gets close, my guess is, at least this is what I would be looking for if he was my client, every time you get close to this woman, your fears get stirred up. Not because she's doing something wrong, but most likely because she's doing a lot right. See, this is the woman that could hurt you. If you had, didn't care about her, if this was a first or second date, she can't hurt you. You're not emotionally invested. But the fact that all of a sudden the emotions get stirred up, that actually reminds you she could also hurt you. She could leave you. She could betray you. She could um, you know, insult you. She could steal from you. She could do all these kinds of things. So this is a bit of a paradox. And this is something, this is probably something I need to do one-on-one -on -one with you, but I'll see if I can point you out direction. What I'm interested in is not for you not to be so scary. I'm more, I like to flip that and make it where your promise is, is that you are scary. But scary doesn't mean what it means to him. See, me being, me being scared is not the same thing as my five-year-old being scared. I mean, if I'm scared, for the most part, I know there's a solution, there's a way to figure it out. I don't like being scared. But just means I haven't figured it out. Or I don't know who to contact or whatever. Five-year-old's scared, the world's coming to an end. It's just, it's just horrible. So for him, having a woman come close, that is going to scare him. The question for him is going to be, who do you want to scare you? Now, I'm not saying he'll believe that right away, but real, then what we want to do is over time, start normalizing that fear. It's yes, I'm scary, and I'm also a lot of fun. Of course I make you. Hi, this is Bob, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and follow button, and also check us out at relationshipheadquarters.com.